Hello my country people, welcome back to the news. The Nigerian army vows to set good examples for other armies in Africa. Hey hey, my country people. No be smart, you know, the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Labaja, has said the Nigerian army under his watch is committed in setting good examples for other armies on the continent to emulate. Yes, Labaja noted that the army would continue to uphold the country's constitution and defending its flourishing democracy. The military chief hence charged operational commanders of the army to re-celebrate their strength to deal scientific blows to the nation's enemies. Militaries in the part of Africa have recently been staging coups and oswapping their age-long governments and citing corruption with the latest incident in Niger Republic in Gabon after Burkina Faso and the Mali's saga. And ever since then, my country people, the Nigerian army has been vowing and in fact pledging its loyalty to the president and only the president. So my country people, Tinibu being the the chief in commander of the armed forces, you know, uh, we know that uh, the Nigerian army ought to, you know, give him their their loyalty. Immediately after the the Niger uh, coup and also the Gabon coup, the Nigerian army they decided to pledge that uh, their loyalty. They reassured the president Tinibu that nothing would happen, you know, under his government. No sort of coup d'état under his administration. They really assured Tinibu that their loyalty lies with him and him alone. So, my country people, all these assurances, you know, were just coming up as a result as a result of the recent coups in Niger and Gabon, you know, following the saga in Burkina Faso and Mali. So, a lot of Nigerians then were calling on the Nigerian army that hope they are seeing what is going on. I mean, they should look at what is going on in Niger. They should better do something, you know, because then Tinibu's presidency, you know, as we all know, is an issue of controversy, and the, the matter was still in court before the appeal, the appeal court gave its final judgment. That's the presidential election petition uh, court. Before they gave it final judgment, the people have been saying, oh, if this judgment, you know, doesn't carry justice, we won't allow it. We won't accept it. A lot of people were just waiting on the judiciary to give its final verdict. And finally, the judiciary, the presidential election petition court, they gave their final verdict and declared Tinibu the rightful winner of the elections, which so many people have claimed that they never voted for the president, Bolad Met Tinibu. They never gave him, you know, their mandate. So why is the court saying otherwise? A lot of people had hoped that the court would declare a rerun of the election, while others have said, well, it would be very unfair to declare a winner in this the highly disputed 2023 presidential election. Even the European Union, the election observers, they've all confirmed, according to their reports, that the 2023 general elections was mad and it was flawed, highly flawed. So my country people, with all these uh, scenarios here and there, the INEC at one corner, they claimed they would electronically upload the presidential election results. But on that very day, they said it was technical glitches that resulted. That's why they couldn't upload results. That's why they couldn't transmit the results online. So my country people, even in court, the judges, they defended INEC and said, well, INEC, they can do what they please. So Nigerians were like, so INEC gave us assurance that this is what they are going to do. And at the end of the day, they did what was in their mind. And then what would not be the fate of the people? So at this point, 
a lot of people had really lost hope in uh, INEC. So my country people, the military now, have assured Nigerians, also the Nigerian government, the president, that they would uphold, you know, uh, they, they are going to set good examples. Because a lot of people have been saying, wow, it seems that other African nations, they are other African countries, they are militaries, they are just plotting coup. What will happen to Nigeria? A lot of people were raising questions. What will be the fate of this country? Well, my country people, we all know that the Nigerian uh, army chief, Labaja, has assured President Bolad Metinibu of their unflinching loyalty and commitment of the army to the defense of the nation's flourishing democracy and upholding the constitution. And in this regard, the Nigerian army remains it unwavering in remains unwavering in its co in its commitment to setting good examples for other armies to emulate he said labaja said this at the closing of the combined second and third quarters coas conference on thursday in abuja he said the briefs and deliberation and deliberations by the commanders during the conference was ahead of that the tax ahead would be very, very challenging. The chief of staff said the army is competent and committed to ensuring uh, synergy with sister agents and other security agents to create an enabling environment for good governance and economic prosperity. Well, my country people, Lavaja said the, the conference provided the army top base a variable platform to brainstorm and, ap and appraise the army's activities so far in the year. He said the conference also afforded them quality time to review their training, operational and administrative activities that directly relate to security issues uh, very, very critical to very, very crucial to, the Ni to Nigeria and its external environment. According to him, Formation commanders leading the various operations across the country's geopolitical zone briefed the house in line with the conference program. So, my country people, what are your thoughts on this issue? Well, we don't need good example again in this country. It will be good when politicians are behaving normal and obeying the rule of law and let politicians stop politizing issues of insecurity and food security let there be fair treatment in recruitment and stop collecting money from people in the name of giving them jobs. Okay, the best example should be protecting citizens, their interests and their properties. There is no democracy when the electoral process has been subverted. Okay guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, I'm dropping here. Can they share your thoughts on this in the comment section? Thank you.